The movie begins with a time when gods reigned over Earth. A goddess, wielding a power known as Cosmo, created knights to protect her people. These knights, empowered by Cosmo, easily vanquished their foes. However, as time went on, humans forgot about the gods, relegating them to mere fairy tales. After 18 years, the same goddess was reborn in human form. A golden knight sacrificed his life to save this reborn goddess. The story then shifts to the present day, focusing on a homeless boy named Seiya, who is constantly searching for his missing older sister. While reflecting on a photo of his sister, Seiya is approached by a fight ring owner who informs him it's time for his match. The owner warns Seiya about his strong and courageous opponent, explaining the fight has no rules and ends only when one surrenders with the loser being banned from the ring. The fight begins with Seiya on the defensive, struggling to block his eager opponent's attacks. As the opponent gains an advantage, Seiya falls and narrowly avoids a series of kicks, which angers the owner. In response, the owner intervenes, landing a powerful kick on the opponent. The owner catches Seiya off guard, striking him repeatedly and delivering a powerful kick that sends Seiya flying. Despite Seiya's attempts to fight back, the owner overpowers him and throws him aside. The owner chastises Seiya for not heeding his advice to fight. He continues to assault Seiya, dragging him to the net and demanding that he fight back. However, Seiya, injured and lacking courage, is unable to respond. The crowd cheers for the ring owner as Seiya tries to regain his senses, his thoughts drifting to his sister. Suddenly, Seiya undergoes a dramatic transformation, releasing a powerful surge of Cosmo energy that sends the ring owner flying. Despite the owner recovering, and being declared the winner as Seiya stays down, Seiya manages to get up and lands a strong kick on the owner. Post-fight, Seiya heads to the locker room with plans to leave. However, he is approached by a man who claims to know about his past and missing sister, offering assistance in locating her. In the meantime, the ring owner contacts an associate, revealing he's met a boy named Seiya with cosmic power. Seiya is then taken to a remote location where he meets a businessman warrior. The businessman shares a war story and mentions his powerful wife, Vander, who leads a strong army but has deviated from her path, causing their separation. The businessman warns Seiya that Vander and her warriors are coming for a fight and he must pick a side. Despite the looming threat, Seiya decides to stand with the businessman. However, when Vander's soldiers arrive, they cause havoc. Their overwhelming strength begins to overpower and wipe out the businessman's forces. After all the soldiers are defeated, Yafdurja and Vander's husband, also a warrior, escape to save their lives, chased by Vander's soldiers. A pilot steps in, firing at the soldiers, rescuing them, and driving them to safety. However, their sense of safety is short-lived as they soon find themselves under attack again. Bombs are continuously launched at them, followed by missiles when the bombs fail to stop them. The enemies are targeting Seiya, who had previously demonstrated cosmic power. To evade capture, they enter a tunnel where they are met with gunfire and missile attacks but manage to escape. Confused by the events, Seiya questions Vander's husband. In response, Vander's husband instructs his pilot to render Seiya unconscious. As Seiya loses consciousness, he recalls a memory of his sister hiding him in a closet when he was a child, instructing him to stay hidden no matter what. As she was closing the closet door, an explosion occurred, causing the door to shut on its own. After the turmoil, many soldiers stormed in with bombs and kidnapped Seiya's sister. Seiya, who had met Vander, later wakes up on a plane with Vander's husband and a pilot. Bewildered and in search of clarity, Seiya hears Vander's husband disclose his history as a distinguished businessman and a warrior. He narrates old stories and talks about a goddess reincarnated as a human, insisting that it's Seiya's responsibility to safeguard her because of his courage. Skeptical, Seiya plans to leave, but halts when his sister is mentioned. The warrior explains that his wife and her soldiers kidnapped Seiya's sister because they detected a cosmic signal from their house. To protect Seiya, his sister had hidden him in a closet to avoid capture by Vander. Following the events, Seiya is introduced to Sienna, the warrior's daughter, who is the human incarnation of the goddess. Sienna gives Seiya a box containing an armor locket, a powerful metal suit that covers the entire body, essential for defeating Vander's soldiers. Despite the incredulity of the situation, they decide to eat before further discussions. Meanwhile, Vander confronts the ring owner, blaming him for Seiya's escape. If he had been more thoughtful, Seiya would have been captured. Back at the table, Seiya, Sienna, and the warrior share a meal. 
Sienna admires Seiya's appreciation for food, to which Seiya explains, is a habit developed from living on the streets and not knowing when the next meal will come. The warrior departs, leaving Seiya and Sienna to chat. Seiya asks Sienna about her feelings considering her divine potential. Sienna confesses she's not yet a goddess, but will be when the time comes. This idea distresses her, and as she talks, her power control slips, releasing a purple cosmic energy that darkens the surroundings and causes her pain. During a confrontation, Sienna's father arrive. Sienna's power repels the soldiers. Sia attempts to approach Sienna, but a warrior discourages him fearing for his safety. Once things settle, Sienna recovers. Concerned, Seiya asks about Sienna's condition. Her father explains that Sienna is the goddess's second human form, and her human body struggles to contain the goddess's cosmic energy. Sienna, in pain, feels like a captive. Meanwhile, the ring owner bravely battles one of Vander's armored soldiers. Vander realizes that while the ring owner is strong, he lacks the power to defeat Seiya, leading her to consider using her advanced armor technology. Concurrently, Seiya and Sienna converse. With Sienna reflecting on her past, she recalls a time when she was targeted, and a golden knight risked his life to protect her. Sienna reveals that she's the goddess's reincarnation, and Vander's adopted daughter, not her biological child. Sienna also mentions her courageous sister, who always looked out for her afterward. They engage in a conversation about their personal thoughts. Subsequently, a special man questions her decision to utilize her new technology as the ring owner. Vander responds affirmative, stating that the technology is necessary to find Sia and engage in combat. It allows them to locate their whereabouts. The following morning, Sia prepares to depart for his training. He receives a generous amount of food from Sienna, and they exchange meaningful glances, hinting at a blossoming romance. Sia boards the plane, and the pilot warns him not to have high expectations, emphasizing that the goddess cannot have friends or experience love. This revelation surprises Sienna's father, who asks why she gave him food. In response, she speculates that it may be their last meal together, as the training from the Silver Knight is perilous and potentially lethal. Upon reaching their destination, he inquires about his next destination, to which the pilot gestures towards a rock. Sia begins to ascend, a rock amidst a storm lies in his inner cosmo power. Upon reaching the top, he encounters a Silver Knight who reveals she is there for training, not to train others. She informs him that his first duty as a knight is to protect the human form goddess, Sena. This confuses Seiya, who thought his purpose was to become a brave knight and find his sister. After expressing regret for his misunderstanding, he seeks another opportunity. The Silver Knight tasks him with shattering a small stone. Seiya tries, but hurts his hand. The knight clarifies that a knight's power can reduce everything around them to ashes. She advises Seiya to concentrate on his inner cosmo power. Despite being sidetracked by thoughts of his sister, Seiya maintains his focus. The Silver Knight, moved by Seiya's resolve, decides to mentor him. Concurrently, a ring owner in Vander's building is transformed into a robotic warrior through advanced technology. He dominates soldiers, but is ultimately defeated by Vander. Seiya's training is challenging, with the Silver Knight overpowering him and demonstrating that his true strength lies in his inner Cosmo power. Sienna is haunted by a dream of her uncontrolled Cosmo power, causing global chaos, and her father comforts her as he shares her nightmare about a goddess destroying the world. Motivated by the Silver Knight's advice, Seiya trains harder each day, showing increased courage. He often finds solace in thoughts of his supportive sister. The knight encourages him to release his past sorrows and focus on the future. Seiya's training progress is evident, as he eventually defeats the Silver Knight and shatters a stone. He diligently works to control his cosmic power, demonstrated by pulverizing a larger stone. Finally, his locket ascends, transforming into a large armor that gradually encases Seiya. As this occurs, cosmic power emanates from him, marking his transformation into a valiant knight. Suddenly, he experiences a severe headache and recalls Vander's husband's involvement in his sister's kidnapping, which infuriates him. He storms into Vander's house, but Sienna intervenes, taking him away on a bike. Seiya explains that his father's actions were for his sister's benefit, as she couldn't control her Cosmo power as a child. Seiya shares her own experience of uncontrollable power as a child, which resulted in her mother Vander losing a hand. Her father used golden armor technology to repair it, but it had adverse effects. Vander now relies on Cosmo power to survive, and seeks children with this power. She initially kidnapped his sister, but later discovered 
that the true Cosmo power resided in him. Vander has been tracking you since discovering that your sister, despite lacking cosmic power, was hiding you. She was kept safe as her life was in danger. Upon learning of the goddess's rebirth, Vander's husband released all kidnapped children, including your sister, knowing the goddess's cosmic power would suffice for Vander. Sienna's father is warned of Vander's approaching army and decides to face them alone. Sienna seeks a promise to be restrained if she becomes uncontrollable. They escape as Vander's forces approach, but Sienna goes back to her besieged home. A risky battle breaks out when the pilot is ambushed, en route to his aircraft. Vander and her husband have a discussion as Seiya and Sienna show up. Vander's husband is then challenged by the robotic ring owner. In a fierce battle, Vander's husband is knocked out and Sienna is defeated due to her lack of armor. Seiya also loses to the ring owner, as he can't activate his armor. The pilot then takes out the remaining soldiers and leaves. Despite Vander's husband's attempts to stop her with explosions, Vander remains unharmed. Seiya is flung far away after his defeat. Tragically, Vander's husband dies in an explosion, and Sienna is captured. Upon learning about her father's death, Sienna is devastated. Vander her mother, imprisons her with a plan to kill her for humanity's sake. Upon waking, Seiya is distressed by Sienna's disappearance and his inability to protect her. He remembers the Silver Knight's counsel about his duties and vows to safeguard himself, Sienna, and his sister. He then embarks on a rescue mission with the pilot. As they near the building, they are spotted and shot at, destabilizing their plane. Seiya is forced to leave the plane but he manages to activate his armor and land safely. Demonstrating his bravery, he easily overcomes the soldiers and defeats the ring owner, inflicting significant damage. Meanwhile, the execution process for Sienna starts. Vander, regretful, orders her subordinate to halt the process, but he disobeys. Vander's soldiers try to interfere, but they are quickly defeated by his allies, who are revealed to be fully armored knights once weakened by demons. After eliminating the remaining soldiers, Vander attempts to challenge him using her powers. In a fierce battle, Seiya intervenes just as Vander is about to be killed. The fight escalates to the rooftop, causing widespread destruction. Vander halts the process, and Sienna, appearing as a goddess, ascends. Despite a knight's attempt to restrain her, she reminds Seiya of his promise to stop her if she loses control, which helps her regain control. After recovering, Sienna visits her remorseful mother, Vander, and forgives her. She uses her powers to heal Vander, eliminating her need for cosmic power from children. This showcases Sienna's mastery over her powers, delighting both mother and daughter. Seiya, realizing that awakening the goddess will draw the attention of ancient gods, plans to recruit and train more knights. His immediate goal, however, is to find his sister, after which he will prepare for the looming war. The movie concludes here, and with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.